Today's Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, First Community Financial Bank, the community bank where you come first. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Spotlight. I'm your host, Jane Wernett, and with me are representatives from the Summer Place Theater. Don Gingold is the director and their publicist, and Ted Waltmeyer is the director and the archivist. So, your 49th season with the Summer Place Theater, tell us more. We don't look a day over nine either. No. <laughs> yeah. We feel it though. Um, Summer Place started in 1966 on the campus of North Central College. Um, Dr. Donald Chanauer was head of the theater department at that time and needed a vehicle so his students would be able to be in plays during the summer. Mm -hmm. And he came up with the concept of, well, let's open this up to the community. So um, our performing space for several years was down in a pavilion on the campus of North Central College when they needed to build a new dormitory because they were growing. Um, we moved our operations to the auditorium at Naperville Central High School and we've been there happily ensconced ever since. That's, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice piece. And I exactly. think it's so interesting that it grew out of a, a need to give college students an opportunity and then exactly. grew into something exactly. to be a, a community theater. And now the actors go in either direction. We have people in, uh, of all ages. We have one of our, uh, one of our cast is in his 42nd production this summer. Wow, yes. that's incredible. That's a great celebration, a big milestone. Exactly. And how about the youngest? And I think we have a nine-year-old in one of our productions this summer. Okay. Right. So not only are they, I mean, that really is what community theater is all about, right? right. It's, it's really about spanning a huge spectrum of right. ages and backgrounds and stuff. And then getting a family to be able to be in a production together is great, yeah. to see them bonding while they're doing this theater. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now you have a unique structure. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we have, uh, uh, our board is all volunteers. Um, our uh, very few people in the entire organization are paid. Okay. Uh, our actors uh, act for free, uh, our crew also. And uh, there's just a couple of people that get just a stipend. Um, and that way, of course, we can keep all of our costs as low as mm -hmm. possible, which means we can keep our ticket prices as low as possible. So it's good for the whole community. So not only is the community in it, but the community can come watch it, right? Exactly. Okay. And you have a good turnout when it gets at Naperville Central. Quite quite a good turnout, yes. Of course, there's always a seat available. So okay. it's, it's a large auditorium that Central High School has. So you rarely could fill it. Okay. There's been times when we've been close, but we've never quite filled it. And that's good. Yeah. And if you find yourselves with a free evening that you don't know what to do, Come and see one of our shows this summer. Okay. Now, you guys have just wrapped up Land of the Dead. William Tell us a little bit about that, because when I first heard it, it sounded kind of scary, but then I, I it's not scary, right? It's, it's kind of a it's, comedy. It's well, a little bit of both. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So zombies, tell us how that went. Zombies invaded North Central High School, or Naperville Central High School Auditorium for six performances, and audiences laughed. They got a little yeah. frightened, okay. but... Uh, it really was a good time. Okay, so you kicked off the oh. season with that, mm -hmm. and now you're doing something that I know a lot of people are interested in, which is a takeoff of Spamalot. So is, tell me about that. It is Spamalot. It's yes. Monty Python Spamalot. We okay. have to give them credit right. because <laughs> the British know how to yeah. do things yeah. theatrically wise. Right. right. And um, this is going to be a really fun show because. Um, We've got women who are doing some of the men's parts. Oh, okay. Now that's very British. That's kind of like British pantomime. I'm kind of familiar with exactly. that. So exactly. leading man is a woman, leading woman is a man. So how is that going? <laughs> oh, we're having a great time in rehearsal. We've got tap dancing. Um, we've got Laker girls. We've got um, Tim the Enchanter. Okay. Um, Do we have British accents? Are we working on the British we're accents? We're working on no, the British, British accents, accents. Okay. but we want to make sure people understand the diction. Okay. Mm -hmm. I won't take offense. All right. <laughs> okay. So we're doing Spam a lot. Tell me the dates for that. That's July 10th, Friday, okay. for two weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay. both weekends. Okay. Friday nights in the evening, Sunday's matinee. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can do a night out or I can do an afternoon exactly. out. Exactly. Okay. Wonderful. So then we're going from Spam a lot to Camelot. To Camelot. That's your third one. Camelot. So tell us about that. 
We have a great cast in Camelot. It is the Learner and Lowe classic that was on Broadway with Richard Burton and uh, Julie Andrews and Robert Goulet. Um, and uh, we're doing that whole show just like they did it back then. Okay. Um, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a very good Arthur. Okay. Uh, 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 opera, um, um, classically trained in opera. Oh, and wonderful. And very strong voice, very good. Okay. Uh, we have a wonderful, mischievous Guinevere, which okay. is perfect for the part, first for, for the role. Uh, a fun, uh, good-looking gala, a uh, uh, good-looking Lancelot. Okay. And then a, very a important. Fun. And then uh, I get to play Merlin and ah. Pelinor, so I'll be in there. Double as duty. Well. Double okay, duty, right. that's great. Now, okay, if I wanted to get tickets to come see these, do can can I buy tickets to the series? Do I buy them individually? Mm -hmm. How do I do that? Well, we have still season, season tickets. Season tickets. Right. Okay. Do that, but uh, you know, there's also going to the box office right then that night okay. if you're prone, or go to Summer Place Theater, uh, the website summerplacetheater.com or .org, and you can buy them there, and then we'll have them for you. We'll call. So either way. Okay, right. so we can get there. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Easy. Now, one other thing, because not only are you doing Summer Place Theater, right. you also have something coming up in the fall, right? Yes, we do things all year round. So I mean, tell the us thing that. in the fall, though, uh, well, uh, I'll save the fall for, for last, but we also do a cabaret. Mm -hmm. uh, it often is in the early part of our season, it helps to kick things off and is a bit of a fundraiser to fund our big shows during the summer. Okay. And we do all kinds of fun songs, Broadway songs, and this last time was uh, Jingle Mania. From we did. Uh, oh. Nice. Songs from TV commercials and, and TV theme TV songs. Shows. Okay, right. so we can all relate to that, right? Right. And then in the winter, we go to many of the senior residences in the area and we sing holiday songs. Okay. But in October, we have ghost stories in the park in the dark. In There's the dark. Actually has ellipses in there. Okay. To slow you down in the dark. And we tell ghost stories at the Grand Pavilion in the uh, in the park okay. over by uh, the the cross from where the Carillon is and by right. Centennial Beach. Okay. So it's right over there in the Grand Pavilion. And uh, there's there's uh, punch and cookies at the end for the kids, and they get to sit up in the front as our storytellers tell them scary stories. Uh, that's there's a wonderful. G show and a PG show where we get a little scarier. <laughs> okay, that's good. So we yes. got to manage. We got to manage that. Exactly. Have to manage, manage the scare factor. Don't scare the kids exactly. Too much. <laughs> right. That's wonderful. Well, you guys are bringing so much wonderful community theater to us, and and it really sounds like that might be a great place to recruit some new members while they're uh, sitting there listening yes, to you. Yes, very stories. much so. We have had people that are former audience members that are in our cast and now some of them are in our production so that's yes. exciting that's exciting well listen mark your calendars for some wonderful summer theater and some scary ghost stories in the park uh, this fall and check out the summer place website for more information and for ticket information we're going to take a short break we're going to be right back with more spotlight so stay with us